I remember clearly walking out of the courthouse and being so angry, I was shaking, I had tears in my eyes, and I decided right then and there I was gonna go and find her. I knew my wallet had been stolen, and that was in fall of 2009. And then a year and a half later is when I found out that the actual license was being used, and then started getting a flood of bills, uh, charges, I got summons to appear in court. When the charges got dismissed, that's when I was able to just breathe and be like, oh, wait a minute, now I'm mad. And that's really when I started to think of it in terms of an art project and to shape it into an intellectual investigation to take my identity apart from the perspective of ha having been stolen. Basically, each image tells a part of the story. So, um, for instance, there's a set of images that take you through the paper trail. Then um, you also have images then of her. So there's the day that I photographed her release from jail. The last I know of Erin Hart is from her probation officer. Um, she is in compliance with her probation, um, and she currently does not have a home. She's homeless. I look at every piece of mail now, every single thing that comes in. I check my credit all the time. I'm really lucky, actually, that um, I was aware and diligent and able to prove my innocence because if I hadn't taken the time to do that, which was many, many, many hours, it would have been affected. It's almost as if she is part of my life. And I know that sounds a little creepy, but I think a lot of people would say like, well, you don't owe any explanation to her. And um, I, don't, I don't feel like I owe her anything, but yeah, maybe it's over, maybe it's done. I, I don't know. I, I just, I'm not sure yet.